Okay, now this guy is putting his ear to the tube. So we can hear what kind of sound this device is making. Hopefully somebody will make a rear view picture of these boxes because uh, this black cable goes at the rear into this box. So we haven't had a good picture yet from the back side of these panel boxes, these cabinets so to speak. Interesting would be if somebody pulls out this plug, what then will happen? <laughs> but they don't seem to make any load changes. What would be the most important thing to test? Without any load change, they cannot say anything. Uh, So all the time the whole setup is just running. They don't switch it on and off. They should just test how it is, how the starting and stopping works. Mm, that would be the most important thing to see because then you can make some Um, well, how to say, and you can make some uh, decision how it might work all together, or how it was faked, <laughs> better to say. I really guess this antenna here uh, controls and uh, frequency inverter, frequency changer. Um, next into the other room, inside the other room, which then uh, uh, puts the power through this beam here, to the, probably the upper beam, this whole upper beam, to the tube, and then directly to the generator connectors. So the generator is probably not, not electrically connected at all, just idling away from the uh, from the buoyancy of the uh, paternoster from the floats. So the small gear, which is normally much too small for this kind of about five kilowatts power transfer just don't need to push much because it's just the rotor of the generator is just idling and does not have any counter torque uh, and if they use this um, this frequency inverter hidden in the other room then they also have no problem to show um, the frequency change on this uh, measurement box here and if somebody touches his scope or a different frequency meter then they will also register the fre frequency change then. So that was, would be the easiest solution. Such frequency inverters are not, not too expensive. You can already get a good one for 5 kilowatts of about in the range from about 200 to 500 euros or dollars, something like this. So that's no problem. But it probably is controlled via this antenna. All right, just look at my other videos and then where I explained how, how they faked it. And then you will see that this could really be the way they have done it. 
Alright, I guess this video also gets a bit boring, so 